Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the 2021 elections for the month of August, my predictions of course. And uh, I haven't talked about the California recall election, and I feel like I should, because it's a very important race. And if you guys hear purring, I have my cat in my arms, so that is why. So taking a look at the Virginia race, clearly Youngkin is leading 5 points in this poll. This is the newest poll. That has come out since I did the last video. <clears throat> and it's a Republican-leaning poll yet again, with Terry McAuliffe leading yet again, only adding speculation that, only adding to the feel that it's going to be, uh, that McAuliffe is winning by five points or more. There's a bunch of resistors on Twitter that I see a lot of them saying Glenn Youngkin is going to win Virginia's tilt D, tilt R. It's not. McAuliffe wins by five at the very least. Now a scandal could come out with McAuliffe, and Youngkin could win. But we have five Republican internal polls, all have McAuliffe leading. It's a poll sponsored by Youngkin's campaign, one by the American Principles Project, and another by Conservatives for Clean Energy. All Republican internal polls, especially, this one's especially bad, that McAuliffe leads in a Youngkin internal poll. That's terrible. Okay, going on to the New Jersey governor race. Again, it shows a Democrat sweep here as well. Um, Republicans may do better in the um, in the lower chambers. Might pick up a couple seats and then down in the uh, chambers of New Jersey the state legislatures. Uh, McCall Murphy leads at 11 in a Democrat turn of poll, so he probably leads by 6 overall, which is actually not good for his campaign. Then again, that's 17% undecided. It's Now, these undecideds could break for Ciotarelli, but it's very unlikely as undecideds usually go and break for the incumbent. Uh, I actually have my support for Greg Mel. I think he's the best choice, but he's not going to win, so I'm not going to hold my breath for him to win. Um, I'm going to assume Murphy wins this race by 10 points or more. He might. Uh, Jack Ciotarelli might gain on Kim Quadongo. Kim Quadongo. I think that's how you pronounce her last name, Kim Quandongo's last, Kim Quandongo's results in the last election where he won by four, where Murphy won by 14, I think, uh, Ciotarelli will do better. Also, Jack Ciotarelli chose Diane Allen, like I said he, he should have, so, there you go. Um, next up, of course, we have the, uh, recall, Newsom, according to RCP, it's currently, uh, 2% yes on the recall. It's not happening, sorry, it's not. Like there is, and the reason why it's only two percent is because of this poll by Survey USA, where it oversampled Republicans, uh, undersampled Hispanics, and that's an eleven point. It's, it's awful. It's an awful poll. Uh, unbiased election predictions would be able to uh, explain how terrible this poll is better than I am, but the but this but um this poll of Democrat internal poll has it plus fourteen on the no. Recall, which is actually a, a plus nine on the recall. Uh, Republican internal poll has a no as he ahead as well, but it also has a uh, yes. It's again similar to the Virginia race. There are resistors saying the recall is going to be successful, and it's not. I see it as D plus nine at the very least. As of right now, I think the re I think Democrats are spending a lot of time on this for no reason, though it'll be likely D. And if the recall is successful, there's only really three candidates who I think would be good. Two, technically, I support two people. Um, first off is Kevin Prathith, a Democrat, who I think would actually do very well as governor. I think he would bring in a centrist populist message, which is very great. And he'd actually be able to get stuff done, considering California has both California chambers are a supermajority Democrat. And as a Democrat, he'd be able to get stuff done. Um, now looking at the Republicans, there are only two Republicans that you should really give a shit with. Uh, first up, Kevin Faulkner, a very liberal Republican uh, mayor of San Diego. Um, definitely would definitely be a uh, governor similar to Larry Hogan, Phil Scott, and Charlie Baker, as well as Chris Sununu, where he'd be very po I think he'd be very popular because of how moderate he is, as well as he'd be able to still get stuff done. And the other choice is Larry Elder who is a, he's, he's a populist pretty much, though he's not the populist the America First people like because he claims, uh, well, he claims the right thing, 
that Joe Biden won the election, which he did, and of course people on the uh, far right hate that. So his support could dwindle because of that, but the America First people are dumb, just don't listen to them. But, those, but again, I don't see Larry Elder doing that much as a uh, governor of California because of the uh, gridlock it would cause. So here's the final map. Democrats sweep all three races as of now. We have about three months before the Virginia-New Jersey races and about a month before the California recall race. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go follow my Twitter at Chaotic Politics. This is the Chaotic One saying peace.